know what it's like when you're looking for tramway tunnels in, uh, in Wales. It's raining, you're on the side of a hill, you're miles from anywhere. Um, you probably had a conversation with a sheep or two. So why am I looking for a tramway tunnel in the Italian sunken gardens of Pontypool Park? Well, to answer that, we need to go and find a canal. To be precise, this canal. Now I thought, and have thought for some considerable number of years, that that was an old lock. But I put a picture up on Twitter and uh, someone who is an expert in canals goes by the name of Canal Boy on Twitter. Look up there, uh, look him up, he knows an awful lot about canals and does an awful lot about canals. Pointed out that it's not. It's actually a place for a stop board or a stop gate. And it indicates that there's something around here that might leak and if it did leak they'd lose a lot of water and so therefore they'd have one there on the other side of the thing and if it did leak they'd be able to stop it up and this is what it's trying to protect this is Pontemoyle aqueduct if you look down here it's the river it's Avon Wen so why is this relevant because down there if you look at the map you will see lower mill sheet works it was built in the uh, 1870s, late 19th century, it became a sheet works, and there was a galvanizing works alongside. And uh, it wasn't the nicest place they were found in 1899, after nine boys under the age of 16 were found at work outside the permitted hours. It's one of many works and forges around Pontypool, um, making all sorts of different metal wares. And the reason it was such a popular place was it created something called Japanning. It was a lacquer which they put onto metal and then could put some really ornate designs on and use for household wares. There's quite a few examples in the local Torvine Museum. Now, down there is the sheet works. Up there was the Japanning factory, various tin forges. And to link the two, they needed a tramway. So we're up here, sheet works down there, other forges up there. How are you going to get underneath the canal? I think we need to go and find a tunnel. Okay, let's go down the hill. Canal done. Here we are. Look at this. There's two of them. Well, I knew there was two of them. I didn't realise they were both. That one is... Oh, they're both open. Interesting. There we go. You can see this one's been set up for a footpath. Um, but this one seems to be the one that's more widely used. Now, just to explain a little bit about why there is two. This one was actually a leet which took water down to the forge behind us. And this one was the one that took the tramway. So there's a lovely haven down here. This is, as I say, this is the one which would have been the leet. And interesting, there's a bar at the other end. It's quite low but uh, in incredibly good condition. And I suppose it would have to be really because it's, uh, it's got a canal up above it, so they can't exactly let it go to Rock and Ruin. And I think the idea was that I wasn't supposed to come through this one. We can't come this far and not go through the other one. So through the gate and uh, this one's a lot more driven. And you can tell this one is a lot bigger as well. It's a lot more drippy. I'm not going to go through all the way through because that's incredibly muddy down there. I do understand fully why people have used the other one. So beautiful condition though, to quote somebody. But we've got a bit of a drip there. Now the tramway, having come out of the tunnel, would have continued up in this direction and uh, very much built upon. But uh, some evidence a bit further up, so I'm going to wander a bit further. Um, but yeah, these are a, really are a lovely couple of tunnels. So I'm a bit further up now. I'm in the car park of Pontypool Leisure Centre. And there is kind of like a clue that I may not be far for the tramway due to the fact of... Oh look, a marker for the tramway trail. Including miners and... Could that be a tunnel? Let's go find out. So, as we wander along this uh, 
rather lovely gorge. <laughs> the Avon Wen is down there, that's the one that's going underneath the aqueduct. And uh, this is the path that the tramway would have taken. Um, in pictures I've seen, it wasn't this made up. So I'm pleasantly surprised to find what is a very genteel walk over a very nice, uh, over a very nice river gorge. By the way, this down here was a weir which took water off uh, again to one of the many works. And there's all sorts you'll see down here of, oh, well, this took water here, this took water here, including to the leet uh, that we found uh, a little bit down by the canal. So a bit more about the tramway. It was built in the 1820s, um, served all the forges around Pont Moyle and Pont Neweth, which are parts of uh, Pontypool. Everything's Ponty around there. And in 1855, they converted it from a tramway into a proper full-blown railway. It served the forges and served everywhere until, well, I reckon it was still on the map in the 1920s. And then, kind of around about that time, things died down. The need for steel and whatever from Pontypool died down and uh, everything closed. There is some writings I've seen somewhere which say that it was actually used for passengers at one point um, but I'm really not sure whether or not that was the case. I will admit since uh, I did my research around this and saw pictures of uh, a kind of trek through alongside the river of unmade up paths I certainly wasn't expecting it to be of this sort of quality um, but we're back at the park where the Italian gardens are and you're saying to yourself Bob surely surely you're not telling me that there is a tramway tunnel here. Well, is this tunnel enough for you? On, again, some of the footage I've seen, some of the pictures I've seen, it has been in what it can only be described as a colossal mess, but this is the cutting leading up to the Pontypool tramway tunnel. I'll tell you what, there is a blast of cold air, which is beautiful coming out of there. And this is, uh, this is still in use today, by the way, as a, not as a tunnel, but there's a service pipe goes down there. Just a little refuge there, um, should anything be coming down here. There was an accident in the tunnel we saw back there, where someone going through it stood out the way of a locomotive and uh, got his coat caught. But let's have a look and see how far we can see in here. So I'm afraid I don't have the lights like uh, some of the people do, but uh, you can see just a beautiful condition in there's the pipe down there that uh, is still used as a service pipe and uh, the other end is blocked off no one's actually quite sure where it comes out uh, but it's on the map so you can see it there and uh, the last use it got was World War II when it was used as an air raid shelter So I hope you enjoyed this brief look at the uh, Pontypool Town Tramway, the tunnels under the canal, the tunnel that underneath where I am standing right now, and a uh, very pleasant walk alongside the riverside. I'll be back out for more soon, so please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends I'm here, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.